using your package manager, we're going to add these two dependencies. So I'm using yarn, so I'm going to do yarn add Chrome Web Store Upload CLI and then zip folder. And those are going to be dev dependencies. Next thing we want to do is generate our Google API keys. This will allow us to upload and publish to the Chrome Web Store. So the link is in the description. You'll find this page, which is by Andrew. Thank you, Andrew. He's the creator of this NPM module that we're using. So we're just going to follow the steps because we need a client ID, client secret, and the refresh token. So first thing you're going to do is visit the developer's console. We'll go there. Cool. And we're going to hit create a project. So I've already done this, but we're going to do it from scratch. We'll do new project. We'll call it Chrome extension. This could be any, called anything you want. Billing account. Boom. OK. It's being created. Afterwards, navigate to that project. Let's see. We're going to go back here. So we're at our dashboard. We have our Chrome extension, or whatever you called it, enabled. We're going to enable the Chrome Web Store API. Click Enable. Next thing we're going to do, open credentials, create credentials, OAuth client ID. So credentials, create credentials, OAuth client ID. OK. Oops, we need to configure the consent screen. OK, blah, blah, blah. Make sure you have the same name. So I'm just going to put Chrome extension. But the actual name that appears in the web store, make sure you put that. Application type, we're going to select other, call it other client one. Cool. There's our API keys. So we need to save both of those. So save that to a notepad or something. And then what you're going to do is navigate to this URL. And you're going to replace your client ID with your client ID. Okay. We're going to sign in. We're going to hit allow. Cool. So what we're going to do is copy this, open up. So if you hit right click and then inspect in Chrome, we're going to go into the console and we're going to run some JavaScript. This is just going to make our lives a lot easier. So it's going to ask for the client ID. So copy that. OK. It's going to ask for the client secret. Copy that. OK. And then it's going to ask for that auth code, which is the one back here. Boom. All right. So a curl has been copied. We're going to paste it into our terminal. So I'm using iTerm. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to hit paste. Enter. Cool. Now we have our access token, we have our refresh token. We really just need the refresh token. So we're going to save that. So now we have the client ID, the client secret, and the refresh token. And we're going to add those into Travis CI in a minute. Next thing we're going to do is create the deploy script. So I just created a new file called deploy.js. Then I want you to go to the gist in the description, which has all the code for the deploy.js. We're going to paste it in. And credit goes to Goku who actually created this tutorial and wrote all this code, and he gave us permission to use it. So thank you to him. But so basically, I'm just going to walk you through how this works. So you've got a zip folder, which we're going to be using. It's the NPM module we added earlier. We have exec, uh, which is going to allow us to, to execute a few things. And then we've got a folder and zip name. So folder, this is the name of your build folder. So I'm using create react app parcel, which the build folder is called dist. So I just put the name there. Then you have your zip name. So whatever you want it to be called. I think extension.zip is fine. It makes sense. You can call it what you want. Then we have our credentials. So we have our refresh token, our extension ID. So you'll need to get that from the Chrome Web Store, the client secret, and the client ID. And so you should have these in a notepad. Um, and we're just putting the dollar sign in the name because this is the name we're going to add as an environment variable in the CI CD pipeline with Travis CI. Then we have web store location. This is just a variable which pulls in um, the location of the web store from the node module we added. 
Then we have zip folder, which is a function uh, where we pass in the folder, the zip name, and if it doesn't work, we're gonna exit. If it does, we're just gonna log to the console that it was successfully zipped, and then we're gonna start uploading it. And so if you take a look, we've got these other functions. Upload zip, so this is gonna up upload it to the uh, web store, the Chrome web store. And then if it's successful, we're gonna publish it. And so publish is down here, which basically just executes this command uh, with the location and all our variables. And if that works, it's gonna successfully publish it. And so we've got this, we're gonna save it. And before we forget, make sure to update your uh, version for the Chrome extension. So if you go to your manifest.json, mine is in public, right? And so just make sure to up that version because the script does not do that, unfortunately. Last thing we're gonna do in our code editor is go to the package.json file and we're gonna add a script. I called mine publish. And basically you can just copy and paste it from the gist, but we're passing all of our variables in and then we're executing the deploy.js with node. Okay, I lied. Last, last thing we're gonna do in our code editor is add the Travis YAML file. So inside of that, we're just gonna define, so we have a, it's a Node.js project, we want the stable version, we can cache the directories, the node modules, uh, you're gonna run your install script right here. So I'm using yarn, yarn install. And then after that, we're gonna execute the build script. So yarn build. And then I have this bash script that says, if we're on the master branch, then run npm run publish, which is the deploy script that we created. Head over to Travis CI, go into your project's repo. We're gonna to go to more options, settings, and then you want to add in those environment variables. So you can see I've already added them in because this is an existing project, but you want to add in your client ID, client secret, extension ID, and refresh token, which those are the things that we generated earlier. So hopefully you still have them from your notepad. And you can test it by running a build, you know, either restarting one or triggering a build or pushing to the repo, whatever you want. Um, and then make sure that it's on master. And then once you do that, it'll publish to the Chrome Web Store. And you'll be able to head into the Chrome Web Store developer dashboard and see that it's been updated. You should see the new version. And then you'll also be able to see the logs of it successfully publishing. And you'll see something like this, uploaded the zip to the Chrome Web Store, published status okay. You'll get your message, boom, there you go. You have automated your Chrome extension deployment. Nicely done.